Hi guys, welcome to Move with Val Yoga and Movement. I'm Val and thank you so much for choosing to move with me today and for joining me for this class. Today's practice will be uh, well-rounded, feel-good yoga and movement. So um, I sequenced a class that will bring attention to a little bit of everything, you know, some to your neck, to your upper body, to your shoulders and your thoracic uh, section of your spine, some, some for the lower back and for hips, a little bit for the core. So if that sounds like something you would like to do today, stick with me. And we will be using some props. So uh, you don't have to get too sophisticated with your props. We will be using a towel, just have it nearby. Um, you know, it can be a bigger towel, towel, so we'll be using it as a pillow for our head. And then if you have, you could use a yoga strap. If you don't have a yoga strap, then we'll be using a scarf. Get yourself a scarf. And I will meet you on the mat. So when you're on your mat, just have your scarf nearby and we will wrap this scarf around our rib cage around our ribs and try to kind of make it a little bit tighter but of course so you could breathe and we will be using this scarf as a feedback to our body so this will kind of bring your awareness to how you're breathing and will help you to understand where the breath goes. So whenever you have your scarf around you or your yoga strap, we will lay down on your mat, on the floor, and we'll start to connect to our breath, to connect to our body, and you could close your eyes if you like. You could also bring your knees together and heel slightly apart that feels good for your legs, for your lower back. You can keep your knees bent or extended. You choose whatever feels good today. And start to breathe into the sides of your body. Imagine like you're breathing into your left, into your right, into the back of your body. And then exhale. Inhale, breathe in, inflame your lungs, your belly just like a balloon, and exhale, release. We'll do three more just like that. Maybe you can bring your hands to your ribs as well for more of a feedback. And as you inhale, you breathe into the sides of your lungs, into the back of your back, into the front of your body. And exhale, release. Three more on your own, at your own pace. Slowly coming back to center, bring your awareness back, noticing how you feel, and maybe try to remove the scarf from your body. Remove and try to breathe without your scarf now, maybe just placing your hands on your belly. And notice how it feels. Notice the difference with, with the scarf, without the scarf. And notice maybe it was helpful to have like a little support around your ribs, a little bit of a feedback to your body. Just 
Take one more deepest, fullest breath in and out. And slowly opening your eyes gently, bring your knees hip parallel. And we'll start to add a little bit more movement to wake up our body. So you can bring your hands to your hip bones and we'll kind of rock our pelvis gently up and down. So as you roll down, can you arch your spine? Gently and as you roll up, can you tuck your tailbone in? Inhale, arching your spine. Exhale and tucking your tailbone. Two more times like that. Connecting with your breath as you inhale, arch. As you exhale, gently tuck. And just noticing what are you working with today, noticing your sensations in your body, your thoughts, your mind, your breath. Slowly coming back to neutral. Knees will be bent, hip distance apart. We will try to bring our just our right leg in, lift it up a little bit, and try to draw little tiny circles with that knee while keeping your left leg stable and pressing it into the ground. And just draw tiny little circles on the ceiling. Just nourishing your femur bone, nourishing your right hip, gentle, nice movement. And then reverse. And then going to breathe. And slowly coming back to center. Can you extend that right leg? long and start to point your toe and flex. Point your right toe and flex. Maybe you would like to add some ankle movement in here and just rolling and smushing that ankle, waking up your feet, at least your right foot for now. And then slowly, while uh, keeping your left uh, your right leg extended, can you bring your left leg in without the help of your hands? And exhale, roller. Inhale, bring your left leg in. Exhale, roller. Inhale in. And notice what's happening with your pelvis as you bring your leg in. Maybe it's having a little tuck just like we did just like what we did in the beginning of the class just noticing and next time you will bring your left leg in can you just hold without the help of your hands and just squeeze and hold your leg as close as you can to your chest for one two three and four release Extend your left leg, bring your right leg in, bring your left leg in, and then start to draw little tiny circles with your left knee, rejuvenating your body, rejuvenating your movement, maybe pressing that right heel in. And then whenever you're ready, reversing your direction, just moving with your knee to the opposite side. And the touch was in your hips, in your back. And then coming back to center. Can you extend your left leg long this time. Flex and point your left 
back, your left foot. And start to add some movement with your ankle. Rolling it out. Just kind of like the same what we did with our knee, just drawing a tiny little circle, reverse your direction when you're ready. And then come back to center. Bring awareness to your right leg this time. Can you inhale, bring the right knee in closer towards your chest without the help of your hands. And exhale, lower plant your right foot down onto the mat. Inhale, bringing the right knee in, exhale, release. One more time, notice what's happening with your pelvis, maybe you're slightly tucking and arching, just like we did in the beginning of the class. And then the next time you bring your leg in, can you just hold it there as close as you can, bringing your right knee closer towards your chest for one, two, three, four, release. Extend both of your legs long. Maybe bring your hands up overhead and take a nice deep stretch. And come back to center. After your stretch, we will bend our knees in again. And we'll draw a circle with both of our knees together. So bringing your knees in towards your chest, maybe place your hands on your kneecaps and just drawing the circle with your knees on the ceiling. Reversing the direction when you're ready. Noticing here, how does your lower back feel? Are you showing up today? And coming back to center. Release your feet down onto the floor. Release your hands by your sides. We'll come into the bridge pose. So as you inhale, press your feet into the floor. Activate your glutes. Lift your hips up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. One more time like that. Lift. Exhale, lower. From here, we will turn towards our left side. We will be using our hand as a pillow or possibly our towel as a pillow. But just make sure that your head is kind of like in line with your chest, in line with your hips, so it's just a nice and straight spine. So you can use a towel if you need, or you could just use your hand as a pillow. And from here we'll do a little bit of neck rejuvenation, neck love exercise. So we will inhale and bring our right ear towards our right shoulder. Inhale, lifting your head up, exhale, lower, inhale, lift, exhale, lower. One more time, lift, pressing your right hand into the floor, exhale, lower. This time, adding a little bit of rotation to the neck, and maybe, maybe some of you will add rotation to the spine and some pelvis, so... You do you, listen to your body. So pressing your right hand down into the floor, can you bring your chin towards your right shoulder this time? As you inhale, look up, exhale down. Inhale, look up, chin towards your right shoulder, exhale lower. One more time, exhale lower. This time, 
you could still have your hand in here you could release your hand and we will add some motion to our uh, hips again so just picking up your right foot so it's kind of like in line with your hip your your knee is in line with your hip and then start to draw the tiny circles with your knee and remember we did the same movement when we were laying down on our back so maybe just comparing how it felt how it feels now maybe something is easier something is harder and then reversing your direction And then you can use the hand for support if your right hand is in front you press it into the ground if you like and then coming back to center can you extend your leg long maybe it will be in line with your hip maybe it will be somewhere here so you choose whatever feels good to your body wherever you have your leg we will inhale keep it in line with our hip exhale can you rotate bring your toes up to the ceiling and it's not even the focus to bring the toes to the ceiling the focus is to move from your hip and to rotate that and so wherever you are maybe you are here you're just kind of moving your leg even looking at your leg noticing what's happening you can place your hand on your hip and just to feel that My belly is making noises. I don't know if you can hear it. And then slowly release, bending your knee in. We'll do the same thing on the other side. So you can just roll onto your back and just switch. And I will place myself over here so you can see me. All right, so using your right hand as your pillow this time, or maybe using your towel, and we'll start with our neck. Press your left hand firmly into your mat, into your floor. Inhale, lift your ear towards your shoulder. Exhale, lower. Inhale, left ear towards the left shoulder. Exhale, lower. One more time, inhale exhale adding some rotation to your neck chin to left shoulder inhale exhale two more times inhaling exhaling last one exhale from here bring awareness to your pelvis your hips your knees can you lift your left knee off the floor so your hip is in line your, your knee is in line with your hip kind of not lower not higher and from here we will start to draw circles with your left knee and again maybe noticing how it feels on this side You can close your eyes here, or you can just maybe keep looking at your foot, exploring the movement of your body. Whenever you're ready, we will reverse. Opposite side, opposite direction. And then from here and coming back to center from here we will extend that left leg long again it, it can be up higher it can be over here whatever feels comfortable in your body this morning and we'll start to add a little bit of rotation so you can bring your left hand on your hip as we inhale flex your left foot keep it straight exhale can you bring those toes up to the ceiling inhale exhale and just rotating from your hip 
Noticing how does this side feel for you? Two more times. Where is your breath? And then slowly release. We will turn onto our belly. Isn't it your favorite place to be? Just laying down on your belly. And from here, we will place our hands stacked on top of each other. Use your right hand as a pillow for your head. And just rest in your, hand, your head down. Can you glue your forehead towards your right palm? And we will keep them together as we lift our hand and head up. Exhale, lower. Press your feet down into the floor. Maybe activate your glutes. Maybe even press with your left hand down into the floor. And connect to your breath. Two more just like that. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Last one, lift. Exhale, lower. From here, bring awareness towards your opposite leg. For me, it's my left leg. Should be the same for you if you're following. As we inhale, we will bring our head and hand up with our left. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Last one, lift. Exhale, lower. Release the fold of your hands. Just bring your left hand on top of your right this time. Rest your forehead. And from here, we'll be just lifting our head with our hand. Relax your legs. Maybe shimmy them from side to side. Notice the difference in your legs. Does one feel different from the other? And we will try to balance them with this next movement. Inhale, lifting. Just your head and your hand. Exhale, lowering. Inhale, lifting your head. Your, right, your left hand. Pressing your right down into the floor. Exhale, lower. Two more on your own. As we finish our last round, we'll bring awareness to the right leg and lift it up together with our hand on the next inhale. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower. Last one, lift. Activate your glutes. Exhale, lower. Release. Notice any difference between your side, between your neck, your hands, your shoulders, and then you can keep your left hand on top or maybe you can switch your right, whatever, whatever you feel will work for you today. And this time we will press tops of our feet down into the floor. We'll be just lifting out both of our elbows and our head up. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower. The neck, is ex the neck is extension of your spine. Inhale, lift. You're not arching your neck. Exhale, lower. One more time, lift. Exhale, lower. This time, I will invite you to bring your legs up, just your legs, without your hands, resting your forehead down on your hands and just lifting your legs up, activating your glutes, inhale, lift, exhale, lower, inhale, lift, and lower, last one, and lower. From here, we will connect all together, everything, so your legs are lifting, your hands are lifting, your, your head is lifting, but it's staying glued to your hands. All right, so as you inhale, lift everything up. Exhale, lower. Two more times. 
lift and lower. Last one. And slowly release. You can bend your knees. Uh, switch them from side to side. And releasing the legs down. Slowly from here, we'll bring our forearms underneath our shoulders. I'm sorry, our elbows underneath our shoulders into a sphinx pose. Notice how does it feel in your body. Maybe the chest is more open. You can flip your palms up. And open your heart and close your eyes, take a few breaths. Breathing deeply, maybe even imagining you have a scarf around your rib cage and you're breathing laterally. Coming back to center, you can sweep your palms back down. As we inhale in our center, as we exhale, we'll take our gaze over to the left side. Maybe you can see your heels, your toes. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, over your right side. Come back to center. From here, tucking your toes under. You can just lift your, your knees here and come into your supported forearm plank, or you can just lift your legs up and be in your plank, and we'll breathe and activate our core for one, two, three, and four. If you like, just release your knees or come up to your straight arms, and then release your knees down. We'll meet in our tabletop. So adding on some spinal stretches with our cat and cow. Inhaling, arching and looking up. Exhaling, tuck your tailbone in. Gaze towards your belly button. Two more times, inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, coming back to center. From here, we'll do a little bit of um, twisting, just a gentle twisting for our upper back. I'll just take a second to make a ponytail so my hair doesn't bother me. And we'll bring our right hand in the center of our mat. Can you lift your left hand up towards the sky? And exhale, bring it through without having to lower your shoulder on the mat. And then lift it up again, inhale. Exhale, bring it through. Inhale, lift. Exhale, this time, if you like, you can lower if that's available to you. Lower your shoulder, your head. And breathing here. Last one, last breath. Slowly coming back to your tabletop. Doing the same thing on our right side. Placing your left hand in the center of your mat. Inhale, lift your right hand straight up. Exhale, bring it through. Don't lower your shoulder all the way down, but twist. Inhale, up. Exhale. One more time. Exhale. This time, if you like, you can lower your shoulder down. Breathe here. Thinking about sending your breath laterally to the back of your spine. Last breath here. And exhale, slowly come back whenever you're ready. In our tabletop, we'll start to extend our left leg long. And start to rock back and forth. 
start to roll your ankle. Any coughing is welcomed here. And then bring your left, bring your leg in. Extend your right leg. Do the same thing. Just rolling up and down, stretching the calf muscle, moving up your foot and doing the rolls with your ankle, with your toes. Coming back in your tabletop. A little bit of a wrist warm up as well. So bringing your hands, your fingertips face towards the sides of your mat and just bring your weight to the right, to the left. And spreading that weight. Coming back to center, can you bring your fingertips to face towards the front of your mat? You could kind of tuck your toes under and just shift back a little bit. So you're sitting on your on your heels and you could do it over here just bringing the heels of your palms up and down up and down so we can start in this position if you like to take it a little bit deeper maybe lifting your sit bones up and kind of like working in your tabletop so just kind of Playing with it, what feels better, which which option feels better for you today. And then slowly release. Now that our wrists are ready, we will extend our left leg long. You can stay here or you can add your opposite hand, right hand, inhale, reach and stretch. Exhale, knee to elbow or knee to nose, round your spine. Inhale, reach and stretch. Exhale, knee to nose. Last time. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, release. The other side, extending your right leg, opposite hand. Reach and stretch, inhale, exhale. Round your spine, knee to elbow, knee to nose. Inhale, reach and stretch. Exhale, round. Last time. And lower your heels down to the, your knees down to the mat. From here, can you bring your um, left leg up? knee will be bent and we'll draw some circles again in this position this time just kind of like taking a lot of space with your circle and just being mindful and being slow so we drew some circles when we were on our back we did it when we were on our side body now we're kind of like in quadruped position we're also doing circle rolls and then reverse and notice how in each of these positions we kind of are doing similar movement but it feels very different in each of them and then coming back bringing your heel up towards the sky knee is bent and can you just pulse, just pulsing, activating your glute, you can even flex your leg, and kind of pulsing, Oof, bringing some fire to your glutes, Oof, and release, as you sit down, if you need a stretch, maybe take one before we come to the other side, so bringing your right leg up and starting to draw some circles knee is bent and gently 
roll in your circles and notice how you're spreading your weight in your body as you do that. Notice if your lower back is moving a lot and try to just kind of isolate that movement just to your hip. So just your hip is moving. Reverse whenever you're ready. This movement doesn't have to be super fast. It's actually harder when it's slow. And then coming back to center, bringing your heel up towards the sky. We'll pulse and bring our heel up towards the sky to just activate our glute, maybe even flex your leg. And slowly release whenever you're ready. Bring your knees wider, maybe to your mat distance apart. And sink your hips down into a child's pose. Connecting to your breath, connecting to your body, noticing how you're feeling. One more breath. Exhale. Release. Coming back to center, to our tabletop. We'll start to add a little bit more movement here. We'll get up for a little bit and then we'll cool off and finish with Shavasana. So bring your right leg in between your hands. So you could kind of come into a 90-90 position, straight angles here, knee is directly under your hip, same thing on this side, our knee is directly over our ankle, and we'll try to take a twist from here. So right leg in front, left hand is in the center of the mat, bring your right hand up to the sky, breathe. Come back to center from your, from your foot. From our tabletop, we will bring right leg in between our hands, step it forward, lifting your chest up here. Just situation, situating this body to a knee position. Maybe even bring your hands up to the sky, breathing, stretching your hips over here, sending some breath. Where does your gaze would like to go? Maybe straight up in front of you, maybe up overhead in here. From here, can you bring your left hand down to the mat? Your right hand stays up, twist, breathe, one more time, inhale, exhale, framing your foot, can you tuck your left toes under, and you can stay here with your left knee bent, or just straighten that foot, you can stay here, or maybe you could float your hands See how is the strength of your legs working for you. Fire up those glutes and then slowly lift your torso up. Bring your hands in your prayer pose. And we will bring our lunge down. So whew, losing my balance here. So maybe you will step your back leg in a little bit. And we'll pulse down and up, down and up. So finding your balance, maybe you would like to use a wall nearby. It's definitely helpful. Ooh. Last one, coming back to center, framing your right foot, stepping 
into a downward facing dog. Walking the dog, bending one leg at a time. Shaking your head, yes and no. Playing with your dog. And then slowly lower your knees down towards the mat, towards your quadruped or tabletop. Do the same thing to the other side. Step your left leg in between your hands. Find your straight lines in here. So your left knee is over your left ankle. Your, uh, I'm losing my balance today. I'm not very balanced. And your uh, right hip is over your right knee. And from here, we'll find our hands. You can keep them by your waist or you can bring them up overhead. And just reach and stretch. Send that energy to the sky. Maybe take your gaze to the sky, to the ceiling. One more breath. As you breathe in next time, can you place your right hand in the center of your mat? Take a twist. Slowly finding your foot, your left foot. Can you tuck your right toes under? Maybe lift your knee off the floor. Maybe you will stay here. Maybe you will let your fingertips float. See how that is working for you. Lifting all the way up towards your lunge. Maybe choosing to bring your right leg closer in so it can pulse up and down. You can bring your hands towards your prayer hands. As we inhale, come to a standing lunge. Exhale, tap your right knee down to the floor. Inhale up, extend the knee, exhale, tap it down. Inhale, extend, exhale, bend. One more time. And from here, frame your foot with both of your hands, stepping a downward dog. Walking it out or keeping your dog still. And then slowly roll into your plank. Breathe here for one, two, three. And then can you slowly roll it all the way down to your floor. I'll scoop down so I'm not facing my carpet too much. And your cobra on the floor, pressing yourself down towards your downward facing dog again. You can bring your knees apart or knees together. Noticing how does your lower back feel. Trying to breathe that lateral breath as we did at the beginning of the class. Coming back through center. Coming into your tabletop, lowering yourself down towards your cobra again, your belly on the floor, and just rolling over onto your back. So we're getting ready to finish our class here. So bringing your knees in towards your chest. Maybe noticing how do you feel after what we did. Just bring attention to your body. And from here, maybe bring your knees in, draw circles on the ceiling. 
Noticing that we started the class with similar movement. Compare to how it felt before. Reversing the direction, of course, and then releasing your, your feet down onto the floor. Your feet will be a distance apart. Bring your hands into your tea letter. Take a lot of space. And then bringing your both of your knees in towards your right side. And then both of your knees in towards the opposite side. And maybe adding your head as you bring your knees to the left, your to the right, your head goes to the left and to the twist. And as you bring your knees in toward your left, your, your head goes towards your right. Two more times on your own. Coming back to center. If there is anything else you would like to do before we come into Shavasana, you are welcome. Welcome to do any moves here. Otherwise, uh, we'll meet you in Shavasana. Just relax your feet, relax your body, spread them on your mat. Your hands can go anywhere, maybe on your belly, maybe by your side. And just close your eyes. You no longer have to control any of your breath or any of your thoughts or any movement. Just take this moment to gently scan your body from head to your toes. Are you experiencing any sensations in your body? Are there any parts of your body that are calling your attention to, to themselves? Take two deep breaths. Being aware of your body, being aware of where you're at at the current moment, of your room, your mat. And slowly start to come back. Open your eyes. Maybe start to move. Your joints, your fingers, your toes, your ankles, your wrists. Taking a big stretch just like we did in the beginning of the class. And then rolling on to your favorite side into your fetal position. And getting up to seated whenever you're ready. Thank you so much for choosing to move with me and for joining me in this class. I hope you're feeling great and I'll see you next time. Bye.